what is up y'all welcome back to halo's kitchen the best kitchen out there period is chef a and as you can see i'm making some jerk jackfruit burgers with some mango lime salsa and yeah let's get right into it i use canned jackfruit personally and to get that briny taste out i boil it in a broth and this is you know top notch secret right here so y'all really give me exclusive i add in some salsa some poultry season of bay leaf I add in a little bit of celery salt or you can just use celery stalks if you want to i also add in a little bit of black pepper add in some you know onion powder Powder, garlic powder but I'm also adding in you know onions too but I had a, a little bit of shot of you know coconut aminos and as you can see like I said I added in some onions so the onion powder is optional and yeah and I also just added in a little bit of cilantro just because my soul told me to usually I don't but since I had some cilantro on me I just added that in there as well and then you just want to bring that to a boil and then you want to turn it off after it's boiled for like five minutes and right here I am preparing the mango salsa and I had to you know do a little bit of taste check you know to see if it was good and it definitely was um so yeah you just of course want to dice up your mangoes and be careful not to cut your fingers off um <laughs> yeah you know even though i went to culinary school i did it online so i feel like I personally did not get, you know, the hands-on experience for real until I, you know, went to work in a, you know, actual restaurant kitchen for real. And that was more like, I learned more in there than I did going to culinary school. But that's just probably because I did it online. And I just say that to say that I'm still working on my knife skills and stuff like that. But it improves every day, you know, it's still good. I barely cut myself anymore though now. So that's great. That's improvement right there in itself because I've also learned how to like calm down in the kitchen you know trying to chop off fast when the speed just comes over time and that's advice to anyone that may have interest in like you know culinary skills and whatnot or whatever um or just you know just trying to improve you know your knife skills in general maybe you're not trying to go to culinary school or be a chef or anything but yeah so and then i just add in you know some red bell pepper i personally do not add in tomato into my mango salsa but you can do that if you want to i'm not the biggest fan of tomato in general and you know as as you can see I needed to sharpen my knife didn't really you know do that um so I'm kind of struggling to chop it up but of course you want to dice these up as well about the same size as your mango um I did you know I preferred to cut it even smaller than I did but I was just kind of breezing through so yeah small dice is the accurate size and then I'm using red onion. You can also use yellow onion, um, whatever onion you really prefer, to be honest. Um, but I'm using summery onion. Really, you know, it's purple onion because it's purple, but we ain't going to talk about that. Um, and you just want to dice this up as well. Make sure, you know, you're careful with the fingers. Um, it's really easier, like as far as dicing the onion, if you don't um, cut the butt off and you have the butt still attached. But I cut off a piece where the butt was not attached to it anymore. So it causes you to like have to hold together the onion much more if you know what i mean um yeah but there's also tools you know that you can use if you have trouble dicing up your veggies you know on amazon i know there's something where you can just like push your hand down and slam it through and it'll chop it up right for you and then i just checked on my jackfruit and yeah at this point i'm just gonna let it sit until i'm done prepping up everything else and then I just started to pick some fresh cilantro because what's some salsa without that cilantro, baby? <laughs> um, yeah, I really don't have any exact measurements. I mainly just, you know, cook with my intuition and I, don't know, I just do everything by eye. And that's kind of partially what I'm, you know, putting out with my cookbook. I am trying to, you know, give you guys the most accurate measurement as I can possible, but really I cooked everything originally by eye, but yeah, and I also encourage you to do that. Some things I listed the measurements, some things I didn't, but it's still going to be absolutely amazing and worth the wait. It's definitely coming soon. So stay tuned. Make sure you follow my social medias down below um, in the description. So yeah, and then you just want to combine everything that you just chopped into a bowl. You know, I, I definitely encourage you to use a bigger bowl than I did. So it's easier to mix up. But yes, this is going to be your mango salsa. And I also use key limes as well. 
I don't really use regular limes. I added in some sea salt, um, garlic powder, added in a little bit of, um, yeah, the um, key lime juice. I only juice just one key lime. You can add however much you want. If you like it real tart, add more. And then I added in a little bit of dried oregano. And you just want to mix this up and just let it, you know, sit to the side until it's ready to be served. This is delicious. Of course, you should taste and adjust and see if you need to add a little bit more salt or not, you know, whatever your preference is. And then, you know, right here, we're preparing to make the jackfruit. And, you know, you just want to use a food processor for this. I don't really recommend a blender unless you're like pulsing it. Um, I definitely just recommend in general as far as like, you know, transitioning to like a veganism diet that you invest into a food processor because so many recipes call for it. So I added in some pre-made, you know, jerk marinade seasoning or whatever. You can make your own, of course. I definitely want to try making my own one day. I added in, you know, some chives because these are my new obsession, baby. You know, at first it was most definitely, you know, scallions. I still love me some scallions. It's not the same as like, you know, chives, but chives just, I don't know, they hit different. And then right there, I added in some chia seeds mixed with some water to like help it to stick together more like an egg substitute. I think I was supposed to use flax seeds, but I ain't had none. Don't tell nobody. But I also added in a little bit of spell flour just to help everything come together more. So it's also not too wet, if you know what I mean. Um, and then you want to, um, make sure you check the, you know, texture of everything, make sure it's blended enough. Um, and then we're going to begin to shape these into some patties. Um, I added in a little bit of flour into my hand so it wouldn't stick too much. I definitely recommend you use the gloves if you don't like, you know, certain type of textures to touch or whatever, feeling like raw meat and whatnot. Um, but I don't really care. I'm more of like a hands-on type of chef unless, you know, I'm preparing up an order for somebody um so yeah and then you just want to heat up a pan a little bit of oil of your choice and then you know saute them up I added on some vegan cheese I personally use the brand good planet because it actually melts I flipped it over like that so it could begin the melting process uh but I did you know hit a hit a hiccup if that's the right wording so I definitely recommend you just put the cheese down in the pan first and then um place the cheese on top of the patty because that's just like an easier process it doesn't stick as much that right there i was just testing it out and tasting it to see if everything would go together because salsa on top of cheese that's kind of weird isn't it <laughs> a little bit a little bit different um so right here this is a sauce that i made to go on the buns it's pretty much just vegan mayo mixed with a little bit of jerk sauce a little bit of um you know salt pepper whatever and then um, you want to add on some lettuce. I personally use romaine because I heard that's the best one. Somebody in my comment section told me, oh my gosh, please stay away from romaine lettuce. Like I said, that's why I encourage you to watch my, one of my last videos about intuitive eating. Listen to what your body needs for your body specifically because I didn't hear so many different things like what what's really the right way? What's really good for us at this point? Um, so and then you just want to place your patties on top of the bun. I added on some pickles as well. If I had to make a suggestion, I might, you know, leave off the pickles because it was kind of unnecessary because there was already like a tartness from the lime and the mango salsa. So that's the only thing that I would really change for real. Um, but yeah, then you just want to add as much or as little mango sauce as you want to or... You know, if you just want to eat it on the side with some chips or something, I don't know. But yeah, this is very much, you know, giving tropical burger a little different. You know, I, you know, I like to switch things up a bit. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, follow, subscribe. And let me know if you guys try this. Let me know what you think and any other suggestions. Comment them down below. Love y'all. Bye.